Now that your tuners are installed, you're ready to start uh, stringing the ukulele. So the strings you're going to use, this is a soprano ukulele, so a lot of times it'll say soprano concert on the strings. Um, and the tuning ends up being A, E, C, G. So you can use those all to help you find your strings. Uh, I'm going to start with the fourth string here. It's uh, actually a thinner string. It's not like a guitar where they're thicker. The fourth string is, uh, you know, a high gauge piece. Uh, I string it from this end. I like to start on this end here. So let me get it through the hole here. Okay. Now once you get it through the hole, and you can see too, um, there's a lot of extra. So you don't have to worry about using too much. So after getting it through, what you do is you go around like this and then just through just like a regular knot. And then what you do is you just keep going feeding through the loop underneath. So keep doing it. So I've done it three times, I'll probably do it four times. And then when you tighten down on it It'll look like that, and that's not going anywhere. So that's what it ends up looking like. And I'll do that again so you can see it again. Um, and then on the other side here now, um, it's really simple. You just feed it through the hole in the tuner itself. And then there's these notches for each of the strings. So you start with the fourth, so I pull it tight just to see where it should be, and then I like to have a bit of um, of loops around the tuner itself, so I'll do something like that. Alright, the first string is now strung, and just zoom in here so you can see exactly how how I string it here. So you start off from this side and you string it through and after pulling it through again just like you're doing a regular knot just go through and then back around so you go through and you've got that same main loop you're gonna go around it so now I've done it twice and this one's thicker so you're probably not gonna be able to do it four times like I did on the, the smaller string there's three and that looks good so then you just pull it tight and you can see again that's not going anywhere. Right, now that you have that done, um, you just take the other end and thread it through the end of the tuner just like you did last time. And just like last time I like to pull it tight first to see where it, the length would be and then back it out. And once I have it set where I like it, I just go through tightening it. Alright, so one thing I wanted to point out is, see how the string kind of goes to the bottom of the post? It's not up here, it's at the bottom. And you want that because it'll create more tension on the bridge here. 
If you have it posted up here, it won't want to hit this um, if the string ends up here. So you want to make sure you hold it down like you've been seeing me do so the string ends at the bottom so that it'll catch there at the bridge. And then you just repeat those steps um, for the remaining strings, the second and first string. Part of stringing your ukulele is just to trim off the excess strings. So you can do that with any pair of pliers or wire cutters. Um, and then you do it on both ends. So I'm just starting off on this end. You leave a little bit um, so the knot doesn't come undone. But you don't need to leave much. And then same thing on this side. Just take any kind of wire cutter just leave a little bit on the end. Okay, and after you've done that, your ukulele is now strung.